okay we have given here two large plates having epsilon equals to 0.32 and 0.56 are maintained at temperature of 800 and 450 a radiation shield having epsilon equal to 0.03 on both sides are placed between the two plates we going to calculate the heat transfer per unit area without shield and heat transfer per unit area with shield and the temperature of the shield so we have plate number 1 and 2 is without shield is epsilon 1 is 0.32 epsilon 2 is 0.56 t1 is 800 and t2 is 4 a sigma t1 to the power sigma into t1 to the power 4 minus t to the power 4 upon 1 by epsilon 1 plus 1 by epsilon 2 Minus one and area in numerator. So substitute epsilon one is point three two point epsilon two is point five six t one is eight hundred and t two is four fifty. So we can find out Q one two by A. This is without shield. Five three four four point five. Calculate which shield epsilon three is point zero three. We don't know the temperature of three, but we can very well write down. That Q one two is consists of sigma into T one to the power four minus T two to the power four. There are three resistances between one and three. One upon epsilon one plus one upon epsilon three minus one. And there are three more from three to two. That equals to one upon epsilon three. Plus one upon epsilon two minus one. This arrangement is only possible for flat plate. So we can calculate the modified value that is with shield. The answer is three hundred point five watt per meter square. Okay, now to calculate temperature at point number three, we will equate Q one three equals to Q one two. It is known that Q one two, that is heat transfer from one to two, is same as Heat transfer from one to three. It is also equals to form three to two. Q one three can be written as sigma into T one to the power four minus T into area A divided by resistance between one and three. One and three is one upon epsilon one plus one upon epsilon three minus one. Q one two dash we already find out is three hundred. 300.5 multiplied by area A, so area will be cancelled, and we can very well calculate the temperature of the shield. Temperature of shield is 686.2. Calculate the heat transfer per unit area of by radiation between the two surface of the two epsilon five long cylinder having radii equal to 10 cm and 5 cm. The small cylinder being inside the larger cylinder, the axes are parallel to each other. But are separated by distance equals to one cm. That is slightly eccentric. Assume inner cylinder and outer cylinder temperatures are 400 and 300 Kelvin. So this one is cylinder one. This one is cylinder two. They are offset of one cm, but this doesn't matter. So this one is 400 and T2 equal to 300. What is it? Epsilon two is also 0.5. Then, if we assume the length equals to one meter, temporary. Then, what is the area A one? Is it two pi r one l two pi? So two pi r one is r one is inner cylinder is point zero five multiplied by length equal to one, and A two equals to two pi. Is two pi into point one into one. So we have three resistances between one and two. First is surface that is given by R one. Second is space that is R two. Third is again a surface is R three. This one is sigma t one to the power four. This is sigma t two to the power four. The resistance R1 each, one upon epsilon one, upon epsilon one, upon A1. Substitute for epsilon one and A1. 
and obtain the resistance 1. This one is called as surface resistance. So this value come out to be 3.182. Now we'll calculate the space resistance R2 1 upon A1 F12. For body number 1 to 2, F12 is 1 because if you are at body number 1, we can completely view the body number 2. So shape factor equals to 1. So F12 equals to 1, A1 equal to this, we get this answer is 3.182. Finally, we calculate the surface resistance for body number 2 is 1 minus epsilon 2 upon epsilon 2 A2. Substitute for epsilon 2 equals 2.5 and A2 equals 2.6286. Finally, carry out the sum of this that we called as sigma R equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So sum of these three numbers is 7.955 procedure for cylinder and sphere. Heat transfer from body number 1 to body number 2 is sigma that is Stephen Volman constant T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4 divided by summation of sigma R. This one is 5.67 T1 is 400 minus 300 to the power 4 7.955 this one is q12 20 is transferred from body number 1 to body number 2 so we want to find out the heat transfer per unit area so this one is transferring from a1 so we want to find out q12 divided by a1 that is called as heat transfer per unit area so this one is 124.7 divided by A1 is 0.3143 transfer is 396.7 watt per meter square That's okay so in this question we are given a 25.4 mm OD tube is used to transport a cryogenic liquid at minus 196 from a plant to an adjacent unit the tube is enclosed in an evacuated concentric pipe of 52.5 mm ID having a wall temperature of minus 3 so first is heat transfer is without shield and then we introduce the shield in midway in the annular region between the tube and pipe we want to calculate the rate of heat, heat gain by the liquid per meter length per meter length so length equals to L and the data for tube wall is 0 0.5 0 0.1 inner surface of radiation is 0 0.03 outer surface of radiation shield also is 0 0.03 now this one is your tube and this one is pipe pipe is the temperature of the pipe wall is minus 3 and the temperature of cryogenic fluid is minus 196 and maintain T1 equal to this and T2 equal to this but in case of radiation heat transfer is same either from 1 to 2 or from 2 to 1 so without making any changes, we will call this as T1. Our answer will come negative. It doesn't matter. It just signifies the sound, uh, direction of heat transfer. And let make it equals to T2. Because the higher temperature is wall. But it doesn't matter in case of heat transfer whether you calculate from 1 to 2 or 2 to 1. If you take 1 to 2, your answer will be negative. That just justify that it is transferred from wall to tube. This is OD. For this one, heat is transferred from this side. So OD will be DI for us. D1 is 25.4. Is it 0 0.0254? D2, that is the wall, is 0 0.0525 cas 1 meter. Epsilon 1 for the tube wall is 0.5. On 2, for the pipe wall is 0.1 temperature T1 equals to minus 196 plus 273 equals to minus 3 plus 273 so we can calculate area 1 this is cylinder so area 1 is pi D1 L A is pi D2 L area A1 is 
is point same, same. So we will calculate R1, R2, R3. Then we'll sum it. Then we'll put substitute and find out Q12. This one is heat transfer without shield. So R1 is 1 minus epsilon 1 by epsilon 1 A1. Epsilon 1 is 0.5. A1 is 0 0.07983. R1 come out to be 12.526. Similarly, we can calculate R2, 1 upon A1, F12. Body number 1 is inside. Body number is out to 2 is equals to 1. Equals to 1. R3 equals to 1 minus epsilon 2. Epsilon 2 is 0.1 and A2 is 0.165. So R3 is 54.54. Sum all the resistance and total resistance is given by our total resistance come out to be 79.26. We'll put up all this value in this equation. Q12 equal to sigma 5.67 10 to the power minus 8. T1 equals to 77 and T2 equals to 270. We are expecting negative answer from here. This one is a heat transfer is without shield. Now we introduce the shield in between 1 and 2 and we'll again calculate the heat transfer with shield. This shield is plus between midway. If I say this one is number 3, then A is 1 plus D2 by 2, 4 plus 0 0.0525 divided by 2. So diameter is 0 0.03895, we can calculate area A3. Area A3 is same as pi D3L into 0 0.03895 equals to. So area is 0.124 meter square. Now we'll develop the network for this. So we have this one is R6. We have to calculate all these resistances from this data, one by one. Still or without, so first resistance is R1. R1 is given by 1 upon epsilon 1 minus epsilon 1 A1. R2 is given by 1 upon A1 F12. F12 is 1, uh, F13. From word number 1 to 3 is F13. Model number 1 is entirely closed in word number 3, so F13 equals to 1. R3 equals to R3 equals to surface resistance for body number 3 is 1 minus epsilon 3 upon epsilon 3 A3 3 because it is also surface resistance. 3 and 4 they are same value because because 3 and 4 are surface resistance for board number 3 and then we require to find out value of R5 is space resistance from 3 to 2 is 1 upon A3 we are at 3 and we are going to 2 so is F3 2 finally we have R6 R6 is surface resistance for board number 2 is 1 minus epsilon 2 upon epsilon 2 on the data given above. So R3 is 260.75, R5 is 8.17 and T1 is known to us and T2 is known to us. So we can calculate heat transfer without shield. So with shield Q12 dash is given by sigma T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4. Between 1 and 2 we have to write down the sum of all resistance that is R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 and R6 is 77 and value of T2 is 270. So find out this value. This is a heat transfer with shield. So this is again a negative answer and that is true also. So answer is 0.858 Watt.